Good morning everyone. Uh, gusto ko lang i-share yung devotion ko for today. And my devotion is from the reading of Acts chapter 13 verse 42. I'll read it for you. As Paul and Barnabas were leaving the synagogue, the people invited them to speak further about these things on the next Sabbath. When the congregation was dismissed, many of the Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who talked with them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. Rabo. So Paul and Barnabas was used mightily, were used mightily by God. Daming lumalapit sa kanya kasi sa kanila. Nakita ng mga tao on how they are passionate on sharing the word of God. Ba? 44. On the next Sabbath, almost whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. So, di ba? Believers multiplied because one or two persons have the passion to share God's word. So when the Jews saw crowds, they were filled with jealousy. But sometimes, yung mga pinili pa ni Lord, yung unang nakatanggap ng salvation, yung mga taong na-encounter na si Lord, sila yung, sad to say, sila yung nagjejelos. Bakit? Bakit sila nagjejelos? Maybe it's because I relate this to our current situation here. Maybe they're jealous because they're not productive. They don't have the passion. They're just after the blessing, the numbers. Sometimes nagiging jealous tayo sa uh, yung blessing ng others, yung success ng others. But come to think of it, you will not be successful, you will have the satisfa satisfaction if you don't have the heart, the passionate heart to serve God. <clears throat> so, tuloy tayo. Naging jealous sila and they began to contradict what Paul was saying and he abused on him. So, kinokontradict na nila yung leader nila. Hindi na sila nagsasubmit. Hindi na sila nagihid ng advice. Hindi na pinapakinggan. Nagiging matigas yung ulo nila. Then Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly. Ito ha, sinagot ni Paul and Barnabas with boldness and courage. We had to speak the word of God to you first. Ikaw yung nauna eh. Sinaran ka ng word of God. But since you reject it, and do not consider yourselves worthy of eternal life. We now turn to the Gentiles, for this is what the Lord has commanded us. The word rejection is parang <clears throat> masakit, di ba? Nasubukan niyo bang ma-reject? Ako, a couple of times. Maraming instances na I was being rejected. For example na lang, nag apply ka. Alam mo na na you have the qualities, you have the credentials para ma-hire nila. But then we were rejected. How much more si Panginoong Jesus na He laid His life for us and reject us. Uh, and reject Him, sorry. <clears throat> ano kayang nararamdaman ni Jesus nung time na nire-reject natin siya, di ba? Alam mo ba yung rejection? Hindi lang yung hindi mo tinatanggap yung gospel but blatant rejection is when you know alam mo sarili mo na may kulang ka alam mo sarili mo na ikaw lang yung answer sa panghihina mo 
Rejection is not admitting to oneself and not putting passion in what you are doing, lalo na sa mga gawain ng Panginoon. Rejection is, alam mo, Friday. Example lang to, alam mo, Friday. At binigyan ka ng Panginoon ng Friday off not to spend yourself on other activities. Oh, okay ang mga other activities. Walang problema yan eh. But when God calls you to honor the Sabbath, magsimba ka muna. Magsimba ka muna bago ka pumunta sa mga other activities like sports, basketball, o kung ano nung ginagawa mo para malibang sarili mo, or even shopping, mauling, lahat yan. Making yourself available to worship God. Nabibiyaan, <clears throat> dati ako, hindi ako nabiyaan ng ano eh, two days off. Yung first work ko as uh, in previous company, isang ano lang, Friday off lang, walang Sabado. But, kahit pagod, I spend my time sa Friday hold, almost whole day sa church kasi do- dalawang service. But then, after a few years, struggle, dinideserve ko. Alam mo, binibigay ng Panginoon yung break mo, yung breakthrough mo, if inuuna mo siya. Alam mo kung yung tipong may reason tayo eh, di ba? Oy, Lord, bigay mo na ng Friday sa akin, Lord, kasi ito lang yung time na makapag-rest ako. But, no, when you have God's passion, when you, got, when you have the desire to serve and worship God, hindi mo naiisip sarili mo eh. Iniisip mo na, ay, mas masarap yung presensya ng Panginoon kaysa presensya ng higaan. Di ba? Oo, may Sunday service tayo. But then, it's a bonus lang eh. It's, it's, it's just like yung Sunday service para yun sa mga walang Friday off. Yung nasa sales. Sometimes, ewan ko lang. Kasi medyo naging ano tayo eh. Ang dami nating excuse. Ang dami nating excuse. Ang dami nating excuse. Totoo lang. But when we need God, nandyan si Lord. But when God wants us to His presence, saan tayo? Pumupunta lang ba tayo kay Lord? Kung may kailangan tayo? I'm sorry to say this to you, mga kapatid ko, kay Jesus, sa Panginoon. But gusto ko na kayo din. Ganito din yung desire nyo. Kasi isa-isa lang tayo. Eh. Parehas tayo anak ng Panginoon. And He all wants us near His presence. Ayaw niya si, si Mark lang. Ayaw niya si Brian lang. Ayaw niya si Glenn lang. Ayaw niya si Arlene lang. Si Yvonne lang. Yung parating lumalapit. Ayaw niya si George lang. ba diba? Gusto niya tayo lahat. Tinatawag nga tayo family eh. Diba? Hindi matatawag yung buong family if kulang ng mga anak. Ay, yung mga anak ko lang, ganyan lang, yung mga panganay lang, yung ano. Hindi. Hindi matatawag na family yun. Broken family yun. Ang ganda kaya mag-worship, mag-simba, kumpleto. Diba? Kung naintindihan nyo ako... Alam niyo yung sinasabi ko. Yung rejection, yung rejection is, di ba? Peter rejected Jesus three times. But in this time, ah, di naman natin kayo reject si Jesus kasi, di ba? But we are rejecting Him in our own ways. Like, hindi, hindi pumupunta sa cell group. Dati pumupunta ka. Dati nakikipag, nakikipag-fellowship ka. Ba't nang, lam, na, ba't nang lamig ka? Di ba? I'm not saying this na para i-condemn ka. I'm not saying this para mahiya ka. But I'm saying this because 
mahal namin kayo. Gusto namin kayo makasama sa yakap ng Panginoon, sa presensya ng Panginoon. ba? Diba? The more, the happier, the more, ba? Diba? Mas maganda yung marami. And I'm not doing this for my own uh, tawag dito. Success, no? Wala akong saho dito. Wala akong mapapala. But God calls me for you. God calls me to minister to you. To reach out to you. Ewan ko bakit ganito yung i-announce ni Lord sa akin. But I cannot say no to what God has is telling me. I cannot say no. Sometimes, nagiging kontrabido na ako nung dahil ganito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. But, I'm just telling you what God is saying to me. ba diba? Sabi nga, when you come to know Christ and your calling, people will persecute you. Ang daming nakatingin sa iyo even yung level and standard mo. Makasalanan din ako. Parehas tayo. But, let me help you. Allow me to help you guys na mag-level up time kay Jesus. ba? Diba? Sabi nga, I have made you a light for the Gentiles. Ilaw tayo eh. And how can we be a light if yung ilaw natin napupundi? Yung ilaw natin, yung passion natin sa heart natin, nawawala. Dapat umaapoy tayo parati. And how? how Bakit tayo kailangang umapoy? Kasi pag nilagay tayo sa taas, may kita tayo. Tayo yung nagbibigay encouragement sa family natin. Nagbibigay encouragement sa lahat ng nawawala ng pag-asa. So, ito lang mga kapatid. And, I hope you are blessed and always seek God. Always seek God. It's time to make a decision now again. Don't turn yourself away to what God has called you to do. I'm just an instrument para may share to. And if you're, you are this person right now, decide and pray. Kneel down to God and say, Lord, I commit myself. Lalapit na ko sa iyo. I will deny myself. Less of me, Lord, and more of you. Thank you. God bless. And I pray na Itatouch ni Lord yung bawat puso na nonood at nakikinig dito. God bless and have a fruitful, fruitful day.